Hello, I'm here with uh, Danilo. Danilo, Danilo yes. from Nadimak or Nadimachi? Nadimachi. Nadimachi. It's hard to pronounce, yeah. Uh, what does it mean, <laughs> the name? Uh, I'm not certain how would I translate it, but like uh, when you're full of something, you you you're about to burst. Oh. You know. Yeah, I understand. Like being angry or something. Or like or that. full of shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Full of uh, okay. anger and hate. Blah, blah blah. I I I saw that you have a lot of, uh, a lot of releases with other bands, like a lot of splits. Aha. Uh -huh, yeah. It's because uh, we don't want to. How should I say? It? Rip off our audience or not? Not audience. Or not. We don't have uh, fans, you know. We have friends, but uh, when we do split, for example, in Costa Rica or uh, Malaysia or Macedonia, we try to, in that way, bring our releases, our songs, to that underground circles in that countries. So we don't try to sell these releases for some price of five euros or something like that. Uh, in Serbia or as you can see in the countries we play we deal it for about two euros, three euros, just people can hear our music. And, and for the other bands too. Promote other bands from other countries. Cool. Uh, what can you tell me about your relationship with Infest? Well um, this is going to sound sleazy but we are friends and uh, it's like you, you see the documentary about, uh, for example, uh, New York hardcore or German trash metal. Uh, you always know that, that these guys know each other, but they, they, they never talk about their real friendship. And guys from the Infest are real friends of ours, personally. Not, not just like a band, we go fishing together, of course, drinking, making a lot of crazy shit in the town by night and stuff like that. Also, we visit each other on the rehearsals and of course we play each other, so we support each other, so I could say it's really the example of the friendship between the bands. Okay, uh, it is really hard for uh, us who don't speak, you know, uh, Serbian to understand the lyrics of the uh, songs. What are your main themes? What uh, are your songs about? Well, uh, not much songs or lyrics are pretty much... Uh, how should I say? Yeah. Noise. Uh, socially activated and uh, it, it deals, uh, the themes of the songs deal uh, pretty much with the frustrations of the everyday through sarcastic, uh, uh, how should I say, the view of it. So so we don't deal with, with just crying about it. It's, it's not like my life is great, boo -hoo -hoo, blah blah blah, and songs is about that. It's not uh, the great perspective. It's like uh, almost uh, violent, in, in the same time violent and aggressive uh, approach to the to the problem, and the, the, the almost every problem in our songs is dealt with uh, friendship, individual strength that, that every individual has, or alcohol as a third and and, and, and uh, maybe worst worst way to, to deal with it. But uh, most of our lyrics are about social politics you know life on the street real life on the street we don't sing about uh, riots that we don't do or, or, or sex with uh, porno stars that we don't do or, or driving mad cars because i i barely have a bicycle so we, we just think everything that happens to us and for some people that is extreme story so i guess we just try to be honest honest and participate in the in the art and making the truth Music. Yeah, could you say that uh, in Serb th there is a Serbian trash metal way of playing, or it's a subgenre of the trash metal, the Serbian style? There is. Well, there, there is a wave of uh, Serbian trash metal bands, but uh, Serbia has its own uh, unique approach to the scene. Because you know we don't have, for example, in USA you have 20 million bands in that metal who try to be Malaysian, Cannibal Corpse, blah blah. They rip off. Uh, in trash metal they, there's a million Slayer wannabes, Destruction wannabes. You know, uh, in Brazil they, there's a million Ratas da Parao wannabes or Cholera wannabes. You know, but in Serbia that approach is uh, different because. One day, band tries, for for example, from the other uh, town, tries to be more like uh, forbidden style. Uh, other bands try to be like uh, Vader, trash, death metal style uh, or master style. 
you know, uh, we try to not to be like some band, but we are not afraid to to use the power of the hardcore and the punk music incorporated in thrash metal because for me the, the roots of thrash metal are not Slayer, are not Metallica. It's bands like uh, Gang Green, uh, uh, Black Flag, you know, Minor Threat and stuff like that. That is the thing I, I'm not ashamed of to admit. I, I really like hardcore and grindcore, so I, I really like to see my hard, uh, my thrash metal or my friends view of thrash metal evolve in different ways. So I, I can say that Serbia has its own approach at the moment to the thrash metal scene on uh, Balkans. What can you tell me? Uh, can you tell me more about uh, those splits? Like uh, recommend some bands? Huh. For example. It was interesting to do some splits because, uh, you know, our, our country has a unique uh, relationship with, with some other countries, you know. For example, Greek people are traditionally friends of the Serbian people, you know, history, blah, blah, blah. So we did, uh, uh, I think, three splits with uh, Greek bands, one, one with Crucifier, no, four splits. One with Crucifier in Bulgaria, one with Cospirus um, in Turkey, one with uh, Benefactor Decay in Korea and one with this, uh, I forgot the band's name, also in Turkey with uh, something like Exorcist. Oh, no. Okay. So, uh, and, and we try, for example, we did a split CD with the Indonesian thrash metal called band that I never heard of, but the guy from the label was like, I have really good friends, they are really good on this scene, they try hard, and I was like, if they listen to the right music, if they support the scene, uh, the fanzines, the, you know, the, the gigs, the mosh pits and stuff. So we, we always we always try to support the other bands and bring it to, to the Serbian scene. In, in, in the same way we, we try to, to be at the Costa Rican or, or Greek or, you know, other scenes. Yeah. So why did you choose to uh, uh, play in English, you know? Why, did, uh, no, I did, no, why, why didn't did I you? choose? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, first of all, I'm the second uh, singer of the band. The, the band, uh, the, the Nadimac like band, have uh, two epochs or periods. Uh, one is from 200, uh, 2003 till uh, 2008, and from 2008 when I came, and also the Stefan, the guitar player, till now. The bands for the start, the start was like. Uh, Contra op opposite to everything that was uh, popular in metal in that, in that scene. So, because many bands were like uh, Dark, Saga, Magic, or, or some some stupid names like that, uh, like uh, Bloody Inferno and blah blah blah. And they were like, let's use the Serbia name that was in the same na in the same time funny and I don't know, indescribable in English or any other other country. So, the lyrics were in Serbia from the beginning. And they were almost ridiculous, in, in, in now they are almost ridiculous if you don't listen to it in the right way or if you don't think about it and read it. So uh, every lyrics has uh, two or three points. So the, the main, the main, uh, the main themes are about, uh, as I said, uh, social struggle, politics, uh, anti-globalism, uh, religious fanatism, especially with, with the religious sex, and. Uh, social violence uh, uh, and stuff like that you know and, and of course about friendship friendship about above all i know that uh, till now you have uh, two uh, full-length albums are you planning to make a third one though? yeah actually the uh, first album came after the metal rat ep and metal rat ep came after the wukulak metal it, it was like unofficial uh, album which last uh, lineup uh, recorded before the, of the yeah. split of that lineup but it wasn't uh, production you know musically yeah. good enough to be uh, released uh, like a full end but uh, in 2010 I think uh, we released public enemy number one 2011 11, 11 I think uh, we released uh, uh, speed retaliation style because I'm, I'm, I'm saying the English yeah, okay. titles yeah uh, this year we prepared new album because you know uh, we don't tour and do lyrics or, or songs and we don't do songs or music at home. We, we, I, I don't want we don't want to have music that is pre-made 
just to rehearse a little and, and uh, industrially, you know, we don't want to produce music uh, like, you know, like industrials way. We try to uh, have a good time at the rehearsals, but it, it's very, it's very, it, it can be very hard, you know, mentally, but two or three rehearsals uh, a week, uh, we drink a lot of beer, we have a lot of time, we have a lot of struggles, you know, the debates, and we make all of our music at the rehearsals, so this year we spent, I don't know, hundreds of, uh, hundreds of uh, hours, and we made uh, enough songs for a new album, enough good songs, because we, we don't make songs that we reject. We, we don't make it if it's not good enough. So I hope in a month, month or two we will uh, record it in Novi Sad, other time in, in the Serbia. And I think we will try to find a label to release it in a good way and promote it. Cool. Uh, well, thank you for your interview. Thank you for and your support. Have a great time. Thank you. Uh,